Lucy Letby, a 33-year-old British nurse, was found guilty of murdering seven newborn babies and attempting to murder six others. Her trial, one of the lengthiest in English history, spanned over ten months and captured the attention of the United Kingdom. The Guardian, which covered the case extensively with over a hundred articles, labelled her as one of the most infamous female killers of the past century. The unanimous acknowledgement of her culpability was unwavering. The Daily Mail expressed, She has unleashed hell's gates and the odour of malevolence engulfs us all. The incident spurred the British government into action. The Health Secretary promptly initiated an investigation to scrutinise the hospital's failure in safeguarding infants under Letby's care. Following Letby's absence at her sentencing hearing, the Justice Secretary pledged to amend the legislation to mandate defendants to appear in court for sentencing. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak remarked, It is cowardly for individuals who commit such atrocious acts to evade facing their victims. Last August, Lucy Letby, a 33-year-old British nurse, was found guilty of murdering seven newborn babies and attempting to murder six others. Her trial, one of the lengthiest in English history, spanned over ten months and captured the attention of the United Kingdom. The Guardian, which covered the case extensively with over a hundred articles, labelled her as one of the most infamous female killers of the past century. The unanimous acknowledgement of her culpability was unwavering. The Daily Mail expressed, She has unleashed hell's gates, and the odour of malevolence engulfs us all. The incident spurred the British government into action. The Health Secretary promptly initiated an investigation to scrutinise the hospital's failure in safeguarding infants under Letby's care. Following Letby's absence at her sentencing hearing, the Justice Secretary pledged to amend the legislation to mandate defendants to appear in court for sentencing. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak remarked, It is cowardly for individuals who commit such atrocious acts to evade facing their victims. The chart did not consider any other factors that could have influenced the mortality rate on the unit. Letby had become the most hated woman in the country, labelled as the unexpected face of evil by the British magazine Prospect, mainly due to that unbroken line. It presented a sense of mathematical clarity and coherence, diverting attention from the possibility that there may not have been any crimes at all. Letby had aspired to become a nurse since she was a teenager. Her friend Dawn Howe shared with the BBC that Letby had a difficult birth and was grateful to the nurses who saved her life. Growing up as an only child in Hereford, Letby had a close-knit group of friends in high school known as the Mismatch Family, who enjoyed playing games like Cranium and Twister. Howe described Letby as the kindest and gentlest friend, while another friend mentioned that she was joyful and peaceful. Being the first in her family to attend college, Letby earned a nursing degree from the University of Chester in 2011. She started working at the neonatal unit at the Countess of Chester Hospital, where she had trained as a student nurse. Despite her parents' concerns about her being a hundred miles away from home, Letby felt guilty but expressed that it was what she wanted. She considered the nursing team at the Countess as a little family and spent her free time with her colleagues, often seen in photos on Facebook, wearing flowery outfits and lip gloss, holding sparkling wine with a genuine smile. Letby had straight blonde hair that faded in colour over time, and she possessed an unassuming beauty. The newborn unit was constructed in 1974 and was outdated and cramped. In 2012, the Countess initiated a fundraising campaign to build a new unit, a process that took nine years to complete. In June of 2015, three infants passed away at the Countess. Initially, a woman with antiphospholipid syndrome, 
a rare condition that can lead to blood clotting, was admitted to the hospital. She was 31 weeks pregnant with twins and had intended to deliver in London under the care of a specialist, but her blood pressure escalated rapidly, resulting in an emergency C-section at the Countess. The following day, Letby was requested to cover a colleague's night shift and was assigned to care for one of the twins, a boy referred to as Child A. A nursing note from the day shift indicated that the baby had been without fluids for a couple of hours due to issues with the umbilical catheter, and a junior doctor eventually inserted a long line to administer fluids. Shortly after, the baby's oxygen levels dropped and his skin became mottled. Despite efforts to rectify the situation, the baby passed away less than 90 minutes after Letby began her shift. The pathologist noted that the infant had 